It's a week of season finales on the STM Television Network. You'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll sing hosannas on high as the eschaton draws nigh. Now, here's a taste of what's in store. In the ecclesiastical juridical system, sacramental canonical violations are considered especially heinous. In the Archdiocese of Boston, the dedicated litigators who investigate these vicious felonies are members of an elite squad known as Canon Lawyers. These are their stories. According to the germ number 337, the vestment proper to the priest celebrant at Mass is the chasuble worn unless otherwise indicated over the alb and stole. And stole, Father, right there in the germ. So I ask you again, Father, when you publicly celebrated Mass on September 18th in the STM Chapel, were you or were you not wearing a stole? Well, the mood is positively electric here at TML today. We have a book signing. One book produced by the students of the STM, another produced by an STM faculty member. It is a great day for libraries. Hi, Steve. Um, we're having a book signing today. If you're not too busy, um, I, sorry, ju sorry. just for a moment. To People ask me why I wrote this book. Well. After 28 years in theological education, I decided life is hard. Sam representing the Jesuit Post, and Meg representing her new book um, on despair. It sounds like a great it's fantastic. topic. Tom, good to see you. It's good to be seen, Steve. Yeah, listen, I know it's a busy time of the year, but we have a special event. Uh, Tom, we have a special event happening here. Just uh, uh, Kelly. We hear so much talking about eschatological hope. Let's be real. What many people are living is apocalyptic despair. Plus, a behind-the-scenes look at the deliberations of the STM Liturgy Committee. So before we move on to the issue of kneeling versus standing at the consecration, uh, I'd just like to bring up another issue that came up in the last liturgy survey. Um, should we change our font size from Times New Roman 12 to Times New Roman 11.5 on the worship aids? I don't know, Nicholas. That, that's a little concerning to me. Uh, I mean, you got 12 tribes of Israel, the 12 apostles. I mean... How much more direct can the Lord be that 12 is really a perfect number for the font in a worship aid? I really want to stop you there, Steve, because I just think that we cannot even begin to approach the perfection of the number 12. We are a pilgrim church on a journey towards that, that fulfillment, and until then, we have to be at 11.5. I really think it's necessary. As an Eastern Christian, I'm really offended by Times New Roman, when Elder Paisios, the highly ascetic, clearly stipulated that Times Old Byzantine should be the font for worship. You know, Todd, I, I thank you for sharing that, and I appreciate your perspectives, but you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> this is absolutely crazy! I have had enough of this. J Jackie, Jackie, Jackie! Jackie! Unknown number. Hello? Yeah? Yeah, this is Nicholas Clora. Oh, oh. Y y uh huh. Sh sh o okay. O o okay, yeah, Th thank. That was Pope Francis. 
He said the real problem with the worship aid font is that it doesn't go all the way out to the margins. And on the season finale of Glee, a celebration of finals week. And a very special guest appearance by Randy Sachs, SJ. What does the fox say? What the fox say? What is your sign? All this and so much more. A glorious week of celebration as the eschaton arrives. Oh, baby, 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 baby